everybody and welcome to the very first episode of The Officers. Every single episode is going to feature three of your Virginia FFA state officers showing you what you can do to keep yourself occupied while you're bored at home. I'm this week's host, Carly Carpenter, and I will be diving deep into each one of these segments, so stay tuned. Our first segment is Social Fitnessing with your state sentinel, Shelby Stevens. Can't go to the gym? No problem. Shelby's going to show you how to stay active while you're at home. Hey guys, if you're anything like me, you hate being cooped up. You'd rather be outside getting your exercise in and getting that grind in. So today I'll be sharing two exercises to keep our body in shape during this quarantine. So ladies, put your hair up, guys, put your mullet up and let's get to social fitnessing. Okay guys, so before we jump into those hardcore exercises, we first need to warm up our body. So our first warm up is just gonna be a simple side lunge. So you just step, drop, step, drop. And we're gonna do that for about 10 yards. So for our next warm up, we're gonna do a simple front lunge, front lunge into an open gate. And then repeat for another 10 yards. So for our third warm up, we're gonna to have to face the opposite way. And then you're gonna take a stride up, back, and then reach up. And then with your opposite leg, stride up, back, and reach up. This focuses on our hip flexors and also helps us to stretch out our backs. Okay, and for our fourth warm up. So this is gonna require some room and it's called a C skip. So you're just gonna go up, out, up, out. And it should look a little like this. And for our fifth and final warm up, we're just gonna warm up our shoulders and our arms. So we're just gonna walk around either on our driveways or whatever open space we have. And just one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And continue that slow pace as you're walking to your final destination. Okay, let's go get started with our exercises. Okay guys, so for this exercise, all you need is two elevated surfaces. In this case, I'm using garbage bins two five gallon buckets and then filled with water and then a pole. And this pole just so happens to be 45 pounds, so that's equivalent to that of a weight bar. And I had to use a wooden pallet just because I'm not tall enough to actually reach the bar. So hopefully you can find elevated service that suits you more. Okay, so for this, we're just gonna do a common squat. So I'm just gonna get under my bar, lift up evenly. And then step down and then have a good balance and then just go. For this exercise, we'll be working our whole body. We'll be running around the field and at every other fence post, we'll be doing an up-down. With that up-down, we'll be working our core, our legs, and our shoulders. So this is a really good overall exercise. Thank you for tuning in with me today, learning about social fitnessing. Remember to go outside and get a good exercise in, whether that's just going for a walk or reading a good book. Exercising your mind, exercising your body leads to a good, healthy life. Woo, baby! Hand is on fire, baby. Woo! Well, I know you guys are probably really, really tired after that crazy workout with Shelby. So, good news. Our next segment is Finding Hope with your state reporter, Hope Showalter. And it's a little bit more relaxing. So, let's tune in and see what she's got going on. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Finding Hope with me, Hope. I've been spending a lot of my free time recently by painting, drawing, and journaling. Anytime that I'm stressed or bored, I just pick up a pencil and doodle. Fun fact, it's actually been proven that doing art lowers your cortisol, which is your stress hormone. I am also a huge fan of quotes, and I always turn to looking up quotes on Pinterest when I need positivity or inspiration. 
So I decided to create a painting that is focused on a quote to help us find positivity during this time. The quote that we're going to focus on today is, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. Yes, I do like this quote because it has my name in it, but I also really like the message it sends. We are living in some crazy times right now, and it's easy to fall victim to being negative about our situation. I've struggled with this during the past few weeks, but instead of dwelling on the things I'm missing out on, I've made the choice to find the blessings in my life every day. For me, it's been a true blessing to stay home and spend time with my family, cuddle with my dog, FaceTime friends, and get more sleep. Although the world seems dark right now, we have to find the light in our situations and know that these darker times will not last forever. If you're following along with me, you're just going to need some random paint. It can be whatever colors that you want it to be, some paint brushes, and a scrap piece of wood that you have laying around your house. Shout out to my dad for this one. So, as you could see at the beginning, I laid down a layer of black paint and then started sketching my hanging light bulb. Then I just started to fill the actual light bulb with a layer of white so that I could create a thicker line so that I knew when I covered parts of it with yellow, I would still know where my actual light bulb was. Next, I just filled in the cord and the connection part of the light bulb, which I don't actually know what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about. Then, I decided just to use my fingers to create the bright halo effect of the light bulb, and I blended the edges in with black. Now I'm just going to go back in and paint over my light bulb to create the crisp lines that I wanted, and I will add some shading off camera. So then I just took my copper paint to create the filament, which I did similar to how we did our National FFA Week cutout by making the filament spell out a word, but instead of envision, I did the word hope. Finally, I just wrote out the quote and it was finished. So is this painting perfect or Bob Ross worthy? Definitely not, but it doesn't matter. It was a fun way to spend some of my free time and I definitely felt a lot less stressed afterwards. So here's the finished product, and if you decided to paint with me, post a picture on Instagram and tag me at hope underscore showalter. Thanks for joining me, and remember to find your light despite the darkness. All right, y'all, so we are tuning into our final segment for today's episode, and I know it's sad, but thankfully we have more episodes coming with new segments from the rest of the state officer team, so stay tuned for those in the coming weeks. But for now, let's tune into the Horse King himself and one of your state vice presidents, Mr. Ryan Gobble, as he clues us into his segment, Ready, Set, Ryan. <laughs> Hey everyone, you may or may not know, but one of my favorite ways to spend my time is with my horses, whether it's in the barn, showing, or just exercising. Throughout the winter, however, I've used a lot of the products I find essential in cleaning them as well as my tack. But with the stay-at-home order, what do I do since I can't go out? Well, no worries. I came up with a couple tips and tricks how to clean your horse's mane and tail as well as the leather. So, let's hop into it. To make the detangler, you're going to need a spray bottle, conditioner, and baby oil. To the spray bottle, you're going to add a couple tablespoons of conditioner, you're going to add a couple tablespoons of baby oil, Then you are going to fill the bottle the rest of the way up with water. Put the lid on and give it a good shake to combine it all together. Now it's time to go ahead and apply the magical hair goop detangler. First, go ahead and spray your mane or tail, then work it in with your hands to make sure it's all the way throughout the hair. Now you are going to get a brush or a comb and start working your way throughout the hair. Start at the bottom of the hair and work your way up to the top of the neck. Go slow to make sure you don't pull out any extra hair. Now the hair is all clean, shiny, and tangle free. For this leather cleaner, you're going to need olive oil, vinegar, and essential oil. 
I am making a simplified version of this cleaner because I do not have enough olive oil to make it normally. So I am using a tablespoon of olive oil. Usually you would use a fourth cup of olive oil. Then I added two tablespoons of vinegar. The original recipe calls for half a cup of regular vinegar. Then you're going to add a couple sprigs of essential oil, essentially to cover up the strong smell of vinegar on your leather, and then just mix it up and apply. So now that we've made our concoction of vinegar, olive baby oil, and a little bit of essential oil, we're gonna dab our cotton cloth in it. Get a little bit on there. A little bit goes a long way. We're just gonna start working it on the leather. So, let's take and rub. And as you see, it comes clean really, really quick with this stuff. First time I did it, I was really sorry. I was like, this isn't gonna work. And then, well, it works. So, it's a clean and conditioned, so your leather will be a lot less prone to dry rot and it'll last a lot longer. So, there's tip trick number two. I hope you found these tips useful and have a great rest of your day. And remember, stay national blue and true to you. And just like that, that concludes this episode of The Officers with our officer team. We really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And again, don't forget to tune in later for more episodes with more segments. But for now, try these tips out, try these tools out. And if you guys use them, please post pictures, videos, tag us in them on your Instagram stories or on your Instagram, Facebook. We'd love to see what you guys have done and what you guys are doing right now. So for now, that's all we have for you guys. And we'll see you guys later.